Mike Tyndale became the latest member of the royal family to join social media when he launched his own Instagram account last month. But while the rugby star, 40, is already following 126 accounts, royal fans may be surprised to hear that the Prince William and Kate Middleton nor Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not among them. Former rugby union star Mike is currently following famous faces who he has brushed shoulders with at high-profile events, such as Ant and December and former Westlife singer Brian McFadden. However, neither the Cambridges nor the Sussexes follow Zara's husband. In fact the Duke and Duchess of Sussex follow just 17 accounts belonging to their charities. The Tyndalls famously prefer to keep their family out of the spotlight and hello suggests that this could be the reason he has chosen not to follow Zara's cousins. The down-to-earth dad joined Instagram at the end of September, following Princess Eugenie, Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew in opening accounts. One of the first photos he has shared showed Zara, 38, a taking part in a clay shooting event to raise money for wildlife conservation charity Tusk. Dedicated husband Mike added the caption, Great day clay shooting for a Tusk underscore org supported by Atlanta over underscore UK. Finished up third but it was a lot of fun. Other shots include him playing golf, pictures with his friends and a shot thanking the Stafford Hotel in London for his visit. Currently there are no pictures of his adorable children, Mia Grace, 5, and Lena Elizabeth, 1. He currently boasts almost 3,000 followers. Eugenie and Beatrice's parents Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew have their own accounts, with 242,000 and 219,000 followers respectively. Meghan Markle deleted her personal Instagram account when she started dating Prince Harry, but their official Sussex Royal account has over 9.6 million followers. This follows just behind Kate Middleton and Prince William's Kensington Royal account which has 10.1 million fans. Zara the daughter of Princess Anne and Mark Phillips, married to Mike in 2011 and they have been dubbed the most down-to-earth royals in the family. In other royal news, Sarah Ferguson has admitted to having Botox, two types of facelift and vitamin injections in a bid to stay youthful ahead of her 60th birthday. And Meghan and Kate's powerful and brilliant mental health awareness ad is praised by fans. Mike Tyndall who joined Instagram for the first time this week, is yet to follow any of the royal family on Twitter and now the reason has been revealed. The former rugby star has only followed just over a hundred people, none of them, however, including any members of the royal family. Yesterday, it was reported that Mike Tyndall had become the latest member of the royal family to join Instagram, and had shared unseen snaps of his wife, Zara. An article, in Hello magazine revealed the reason why Mike, 40, hasn't yet followed any of his family. The publication claims Mike is keen to keep his family life out of the spotlight and has instead chosen to follow sports accounts and some of his famous friends that he has brushed shoulders with, including Westlife singer, Brian McFadden. The royal has gone for a more personal feat, sharing photos of outing with his friends as opposed to royal outings. Some snaps include Mike out at the Celebrity Cup tournament in July, as well as a number of charity functions. He also follows Ant and December, as well as football sensation Cristiano Ronaldo. Although he doesn't follow any of his royal relatives on the account, Hello! reported that Mike is in regular contact with them on WhatsApp. In May, he revealed that he had found out that baby Archie had been born after Harry shared the news on their cousin's WhatsApp group. The former England international slotted well into the royal family after he began dating Zara, later marrying her in 2011. The couple recently featured on House of Rugby to talk about their fantasy royal rugby team. The pair agreed that the Queen would be their captain. On his Instagram, Mike shared an unseen sweet photo of his wife as they participated in a charity clay shooting event. Accompanying the photo, the caption read, Great day clay shooting for Tusk supported by Lander over UK. Finished up third but it was a lot of fun. The photos are mainly of Mike and his travels, with no pictures of his two children, Mia Grace and Lena Elizabeth. Pitching in at just under 3,000 followers, Mike's following will undoubtedly grow with royal influence on his side.
Mike joins a string of other royal family members who have joined Instagram in the past few years. Princess Eugenie joined the platform in March 2018 on International Women's Day, and has since racked up a staggering 1 million followers. Her sister, Princess Beatrice, has a Twitter account though it is not personally run. Their parents, Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew both have their own accounts, coming in at 242,000 and 219,000 followers respectively. Meghan Markle had a huge following on social media before deleting all of her pages after becoming the Duchess of Sussex. Her Instagram had 1.9 million followers in December 2017, while more than 350,000 people followed her Twitter account, her Facebook page coming in at almost 800,000 likes, according to BBC Online. The Duchess' social media posts slowly trailed off by the end of 2017. This alerted royal watchers of the importance her relationship with Harry was taking on, with Kensington Palace shortly confirming that Meghan had closed her social media accounts, much to the dismay of her followers. The Palace said she was grateful to everyone who has followed her social media accounts over the years but had closed them as she has not used these accounts for some time. The Duchess now has partial control over her official Sussex Royal Instagram account which was used to promote the Duke and Duchess Royal Tour of South Africa.